Greetings. Um, I'll be working on this board. Actually, no power. The customer said that um, there's short here. The system is hot. Is um, not coming up. So when I check, it's at five volts. Now from um, Q5800. This this is Q5800. This chip is very hot. I've replaced it. Still same hot. And this chip is powered by three volts. This chip is powered by three volts. I think here yeah, it should be powered by three volts. Let me let me bring it out. Okay, this chip is powered by um, yeah, it's three volts and is um the chip is um responsible for switch. I think this is a switch. Is a switch. Yeah, it's a switch for um the processor line, the the processor line, the T two line, the chip. So it's from there. So what happened here is that I'm not I'm not yet done. I just want to explain to you guys before I continue for what I'm doing. Um, there is sh this um, L5800. This is the a coil taking voltage also from or transmitting voltage to the processor line, the chip line, the T2 line, and the rest. This is an M1 chip. This should be an M1. This is an M1 chip. So now we have a short at pp3 it's a shot at pp3 vdd main now how are we going to solve this problem we use our flare camera we inject three volts to all the chip that takes in pp3 v8 aon vdd main now we inject that three volts there we discover that we have shots at this four line of capacitors. This four line of one, two, three, four at capacitors. Now we have removed the four capacitors. These are the four capacitors we removed. Now inside these four capacitors, one is faulty. This is one capacitor, no beep. This second capacitor, no beep. This is third capacitor, no beep, fourth, let's see, okay, we have beep on this one, we have beep on this one, let's see this up again. We have no beep on this. We have no beep on this. We have no beep on this. So it simply means that this particular one is bad. This particular cap is bad. So now we are going to replace this cap. Where are we going to get this? Do we have a donor board here that I'm working on? All this board here are still on process. I'm not yet completed my job on them okay i think i'll take it from here yeah i'll take it from here these are also vdd coils on t2 systems so i'll take it from here to complete the four okay so remember um we are going to replace the four chip now let me reset the my, my camera we are going to replace the four ch chip back I'm going to replace them back. Remember, this should be the bad one. Let's check again. This should be the bad one. Wow. This cup is really funny. Okay, this is the bad one. Let's check this again. Okay. This is the bad one there. So we we'll set this back because we are going to replace them. Now we are going to take another cap out from our donor board. We we'll set this aside. Take one cap here. You know these cups, this should be 
VDD coil curves from from this plane. So we are going to take one from here. Okay, so This is getting more serious. It's not going out. It's getting stronger. Okay. Okay. You can get back, pause the video. So I don't marry this one. <laughs> Let's just see this one first.
Okay. Now we fit in the chip block. We'll allow it to cool down before we put in L5800. This one is not fitted correctly. So we're fitting the chips here. Wow, stops. Now let's replace the coin. Now we are replacing the coin now. We are replacing the coin. Okay, replace the coil. Now let's check for short still present on the system. Let's still check if short is still present on the system. Okay, now we check from the DDD coil, which is from here. We have no shots. Also, we check for. Okay, so no shots again. So, are you telling me that we have solved this problem now? Well, I believe we solved the problem. Let's allow the system to cool. I don't have an extractor. Heat extractor. I believe we'll have that very soon. So, um, you get back. Let's allow the system, the motherboard, to cool. We'll come back with the video. Keep watching. Um, that we did. So now let's plug in our DC in to see what do we have here. Okay. Wow. We have 19 volts here. We have 19 volts in. So 19 volts amperage is 0 0.112. This is the amperage from here. Wow, the system is up. The system is up. Now let's put it back to this housing. I think. Let's put it back to the housing. Where's the housing of the system? Stores. This is for the sound jack. This is for the sound jack. Okay. This is for the sound jack. Let's see. Are we in alignment? Well, okay, so okay,
Okay. So the sound jack is up now. Okay. is a network remember where we did our job is at a PCH close to the M1 chip so I pray that the M1 chip is not affected okay now we have to plug in our we have to plug in our charger. It's not fully coupled, it's just this testing process. Okay, we plug in our charger. Let's clip the battery. Oh, we should let. Oh, wow. Wow. The M1 chip is now affected. The system is up. That's what we are talking about. HGS at it again. We solve the M1 chip. 5 volts stock on M1 chip on 2020 MacBook Air. As you can see, our techniques works. Injection of power to bring down the particular chip that is faulty. Our trackpad is working. Our system is up. Keep subscribing to HGS for more upload on MacBook repairs. Thank you very much. We believe that you've learned perfectly well on this method keep using our method on on marble repairs thank you and god bless you